All right, everyone. So you started your blog. That's great. All right. So when you log into your new blog, this is the default theme that is on here. All right. 2019 default theme. All right. Now for this one, I already have some posts on it, but it's going to sort of look like this. Okay. Now to stand out, you want to definitely have a, a new theme. You don't want to have this default theme that all new bloggers get when they first start a blog. But how do you do that? How do you find a theme? Well, you can use a free theme. And so what you can do is you go to the back end, you go to appearance themes, and this is where you can add a new theme. All right. There are two themes that I like. I like the unwind theme. This one here is nice. And I also like Astra. Oops, Astra. This one. So right now I have used Astra for this theme. So I'm going to activate it. And then we're going to customize it. So for your blog, there are many things you can do um, with customizing it. And you can go through all this process. Um, you can have a um, content boxed in if you wanted to, although I suggest to make it more um, streamlined and modern to have it full width contained like that. All right. You can set how big you want the um, container width to be. All right. If I want it smaller, I can. I'm going to, I think I had it at 1200. I like it like that. No, let's get there. 1200. That's good enough. All right. You can go to header. You can add your logo, which we'll go through later on. All right. Um, and you can decide how you want to display your logo. Do you want it on the side here instead? Do you want it in the middle or on the other side? All right. And you can also change how big you want to show your logo as well. If we go to here, you can shrink your logo and then you can put it on the side. If you want to do something like that and have your blog displayed that way with your menu on the side here. All right. I personally like it in the middle. So I'm going to leave it at that and go to, sorry, site identity. Okay. So the next thing is you can go to blog and you can decide on your blog post what you want to show. Do you want to show the comments on your blog on each blog post? It will show how many comments. Now, if you're a brand new blogger, I would probably remove this until you start having a following. You don't need to have that. I just opted in for my name only. Um, I don't want to put the published date because I want my blog to look um, evergreen and that it's useful and up to date. And so I don't want to look like I have old content, especially if I take a big break from blogging. So I'm going to remove the uh, published date. It's as easy as that. All right. And then within a single post, again, when you click on a single post, what do you want to show? Here I've left the comments, my, the author as well. So that looks good to me. All right. For your sidebar, you can decide if you want to have a left sidebar, no sidebar or right. I personally like a right sidebar. And then you can decide how um, wide you want your sidebar. I don't want it so wide, so I'm going to keep it around 21%. And then on your footer. The footer is at the bottom right here. You can decide to add any widgets. Right now it's just plain with the um, what I wrote on here, which is just, just another blog by Alna Kane of twinsmommy.com. Um, and you can place it in the middle. You can play around with how you want to display it, but I like it right in the middle. And then you can decide on what color you want your footer. 
Now this pink and blue are my signature colors for this blog, so I kept it at that. All right, so any last things for customize? You can play around with this theme. It has a lot of different things you can do. Um, we haven't even touched through all of this. So we went through the layout, the colors and background. You can choose your uh, theme colors. So these are my theme colors. So my link color is gonna show pink, but when I hover over, it's gonna be blue. You can do something like that if you want. Um, so there's that for colors. Header is nothing here. And then the footer again shows the background color. This is where you can look at your font. So a great trick to help um, get readers to stay on your blog is to have a large font. Now, um, my font size is 18. That's recommended for 2019. So you can go bigger if you want, but 18 is a good, is a good font size. You wanna have some space in between your um, senses. So this is where this becomes harder to read online, but if you space it out just a bit, then it looks easier to read. You can choose your font style. Now for my headings, I'm using Brie and that seems to be good. All right, and again, you can go through each blog post. I think it's all set for you, so you don't need to change anything there. Buttons. Now, there is a button here at the end of your post. So again, what color do you wanna have that? Do you wanna have it blue? Do you wanna have it pink? Or whatever your theme colors are, okay? So there's that. No header buttons there yet. Okay. So that's the basic customization for using the Astra theme. Later on, I'll show you how to set up your menu and categories and all that great stuff.